Today I come with a word from the Lord. But before we begin, I would like to say a prayer. Father God, we come before you on today. I ask that you speak through me, Father, as I get this word unto your people. I pray that they receive it with opening ears, Lord God, and that they hear you and not me. That this word, that your words, that the vision that you gave me, Lord God, that they receive it, that they may seek you, Lord God, regarding this word. And I give you the glory, Father, and I thank you for using me as your vessel. In your son Jesus' name, amen. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Kingdom Ambassador, and I'm back with the vision, part two. Sound and deal, Lord. On the morning of December 11, 2021, God began to speak to me pertaining to a vision I had on November 28th during prayer. Now, you, as you can see, this is two weeks apart. When I first received the vision, God didn't allow me to, you know, go public with it or speak about it. Um, too many people, only people that I was close with. But God wants this word to go forth. So let me begin reading. The vision. I was praying in tongues, or as some people call the spirit, when I felt the presence of God. Instantly after the presence of God came, I seen the Chinese flag with letters written USSR on them. What came next was unexpected. I seen missiles flying into buildings and structures. They were being destroyed. Then I was taken to a city like I was hovering in midair and seen this huge wave coming into a city. The wave was tall as skyscrapers. I was shifted again and this time above a country, the United States of America. It was surrounded by enemy militaries. Simultaneously, the Holy Spirit downloaded in me the meaning of the vision. I heard destruction of Babylon. The Chinese flag represented China and the USSR, which is the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic, and that America would be destroyed by these two nations. Also, that America will also be hit with tsunamis. The Holy Spirit also assured me other nations will be involved. When I had this vision, it was just, it was sudden. And I wasn't expecting none of this. Just as I read, the Holy Spirit told me to write down what I had seen. But to give to you my own words, it basically started out that's me just praying. And from praying, the Spirit of God came upon me. When the Spirit of God came upon me, I instantly was like caught up into the Spirit. And I began to see this image. The Chinese flag. Following after this image. Then came this image. was coming in, heading into buildings, and following after this image came this image, or I should say, video clip. These images and clips are the closest thing that I can get for you guys to see exactly what I had seen and after that to see a map of the whole United States being surrounded by enemies being invaded throughout all of this I came from out the spirit a little shook that I never you know seen anything like this with you know graphic of destruction of this nature but after I came out the first thing I felt in my spirit was different books. And there was the book of Jeremiah and the book of Revelation. 
book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and chapter 51. They go into context talking about the destruction of Babylon. The book of Revelation, chapter 17 and 18, goes into the destruction of Babylon. Those two books with those two chapters, they are coherent with each other. But I'm just going to go into a couple of scriptures to show how my vision aligned with what the scripture had gave me. So the first is Jeremiah 51, 1 and 2. Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind, and will send unto Babylon famines that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. That scripture is identifying Babylon being surrounded by its enemies. We drop down to Jeremiah 51 to verse 5 and it says for Israel hath not been forsaken nor Judah of his God of the Lord of hosts though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance he will render unto her recompense Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain. So she, if so be, she may be healed. This is speaking of the judgment of why Babylon is getting judged. You drop down in the same chapter to verse 27. And it reads, Set ye up a standard in the land. Blow the trumpet among the nations. Prepare the nations against her. Call together against her. The kingdom of Adarat, Menai, Ashkenaz. Appoint a captain unto her. Cause the horses to come up as the rough caterpillars. Prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes, the captains thereof, and all rulers thereof, and all the land of his dominion. These are the nations who will destroy Babylon. Adarat is modern day Armenia, which will align with Russia. Menai is modern day Iran. And Ashkenaz, which is Ukraine, which is the southern part of Russia. So I'm going to go to one more scripture, and that is going to be in the same book and chapter, and that's going to be verse 42. And it reads. The sea is come up upon Babylon. She is covered with the multitude of the waves thereof. This chapter alone has identified all pieces of my vision. It identified the flag, the Chinese flag with the Russian letters written on it, symbolizing that it's gonna be more than just one nation, but they're gonna be led by Russia and China. We've then seen the judgment, the missiles destroying the buildings. We seen why it said the judgment in verses five through eight. Then we seen who the nations as well in verse 27 to 28. But then we also got to see where it mentions about the tsunamis in verse 42. So this was just the first part. This was the vision I received two weeks ago. But if you want to read for destruction, like I told you, it's going to be Jeremiah 50 through 51 and Revelation 17 to 18, the full chapter. And you can get more clarity and detail regarding the destruction. But then also, on this Saturday, December the 11th, in the morning as I was praying again, and I was dwelling on the vision that God gave me, and He began to speak to me. And this is what God said. The word that God gave me Saturday morning is sound the alarm. Sound the alarm to my people in Babylon. Sound the alarm to the things that are coming. Sound the alarm to prepare their hearts and minds and prepare their homes. 
God said all these leaders of churches still preaching the same thing before the start of the pandemic are preaching the same thing after as we are going through the pandemic. But God says we are in a new season, in a new time. God said you all are not sounding the alarm. You haven't been speaking his word. You're not his apostles. You're not his pastors. You're not his bishops. But you are priests of the synagogue of Satan. You are only in it for yourselves, for the money. God said for those who haven't received titles, those who haven't received accolades, those who have been belittled, talked about, bruised, used, and broken. Those are his ambassadors. Those are his pastors. Those are his prophets. Those are his apostles. God said, you false leaders, you have bewitched his people. You warlock and witches, you shall receive your reward in due time. For his righteous, who have been standing on the pinnacle of holiness and righteousness, your reward is great. God continued to speak and ask me a question. Is there any good thing left in Babylon? I couldn't answer or think of anything good. God proceeded and asked me another question. What can Babylon offer me? I started to think when God started back talking again. He said, what can they offer me? And God began to say, what? Their hoarders, their wickedness, their evil, their slandering, their murder, their pedophilia, their abortion, their witchcraft, and their divination. God says he doesn't want none of it. God said he has allowed America to become a habitation of devils and to be conquered and brought into captivity. God said many people may not receive this word, but for those who hear this word, take heed, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For he draweth not unto the people, if they draw not unto him. God told me to release this word unto the nation. For 2021 is the end of grace as we know it. 2022 is the beginning of true hardship. Those coming after will have to prove or show true repentance. I am sounding the alarm. He is warning with this siren from the Lord, the Most High God. I come with you to plead with you today to give your life to God. Life is not going to get easier. The things that the government is telling you aren't going to change. They're only going to become worse. The things that are going to come upon not just this nation, but this earth will merely shock the minds of people. And like the scripture says, man's hearts will fail them for the things that are coming upon the earth. The only thing that can save you in this time and hour is Christ, Jesus, who died on the cross. Many people are sitting back and they are waiting on a rapture. I come to tell you, stop waiting on a rapture and live your life for Christ. Live like Jesus said in his word and endure to the end. Jesus didn't say live and wait on me for a rapture. That's not what he said. But those who endure to the end shall be saved. I read you the words of God. I read you the vision that was shown. I don't know what God's plans may be. I don't even know the timing that these events will take place. But I do know for those who are truly in Christ, they shall be saved. They shall be protected. I don't know how God may do it, but in his infinite power and wisdom, he will. It is not too late to come upon the Lord's side, to come out of darkness into his marvelous light. I plead.
plead with anybody this day who sees this video to repent and seek the kingdom of heaven for it is in hand. This life, this life is only mere seconds away on the timeline of eternity. You don't want to make a mistake in this life that will cost you your eternal life. So I pray that you take this vision, you take these words from God, and you take them to prayer to God. And just don't take my word, but go to God regarding everything that I'm saying. And allow him to speak to you. Allow him to be able to touch you in the way that he touched me with this vision and his words. I pray for people to repent. Because praying for this nation when judgment is already set is pointless. Our goal is as ambassadors that while we are still here is to pray for the lost. Pray that they may find Christ before it's too late. It is the kingdom ambassador. And I appreciate you for watching this video. I pray that you be blessed.